Do they even know what busking is in Eastbourne? A lovely seaside town on the southeast coast of England. This week, I decided to head to supposedly one of Britain's sunniest places to check out the local busking scene. So I'm a bit of a rookie, I don't really know where I'm going. But today we're busking here. We're gonna check out what it's like. Pretty well-known seaside town in the UK. There's a fair amount of foot traffic. I've already seen two buskers. So the train here costs £8.25. So the first aim as always is to earn that back. And I will talk you through the rules of busking in Eastbourne. Now, okay, the rules for busking in Eastbourne. Like many of the places I've been to to busk, there are guidelines or it's labeled advice on the Eastbourne Council website. And it is as follows. Keep the volume of the performance to a reasonable level. Goes without saying. Keep yourself and your equipment in the designated busking zone. Don't obstruct anybody with your equipment. Respect your audience. Provide a variety of music that you choose to perform. I love all the way the different guidelines of different councils say the kind of same thing. Do not cause any obstruction to members of the public. Do not produce noise. Oh, that is so loud that it can be plainly heard from a distance of 50 meters. And do not play the same song repetitively. So there's no one song busking in Eastbourne. Pretty reasonable rules, all very straightforward, very standard stuff. So now we're all clued up on the rules of busking in Eastbourne. Let's find out if people in Eastbourne respond well to busking. So far, hit and miss. Not too good. Not too good. Spot number one on the upper promenade. I set up just outside the Eastbourne Pit. The foot traffic was good and I'd already seen two other buskers in the town centre so I wanted to avoid their spots. And the start was... Well, it, it, it kind of wasn't. I was kind of beginning to lose hope. I was even questioning whether I would make my train to get back. Which put me in a kind of weird mood. As you can see, no one really here seems to know what I'm doing. We'll see. We're about halfway through this first set, so we'll see. It wasn't just a lack of donations, but a complete lack of acknowledgement. There wasn't even any smiles. Maybe Green Day covers aren't Eastbourne's thing, but then out of nowhere, I just got a sudden load of donations and suddenly things picked up. Okay, we're one hour in and the tides have changed. Luckily, thankfully, whatever it is, there's been some donations. They seem to have come in clusters, like in waves. Um, but yeah, we've got our train to get back. Oh, there's a cheeky pound in here as well. And sure enough, I finished up in the spot, the very happy man. <laughs> okay, welcome to Eastbourne again. Look at this nice ferris wheel here. Spot number one is complete. So to begin with, there was absolutely no, no, no bites, no bites whatsoever. It took about six songs before I got anything. And I got about four or five pound in one go, like a cluster of people, which was rad. But then probably another like four songs went by with nothing, which is when I filmed and I, I was looking moody. <laughs> and then things just took off. It's almost like something clicked and everybody around me got what I was doing. And maybe my mood changed because I realized I'd made my train ticket back. So I made 21 pound 82 in, in one hour that was. 
people here have been reacting really well though ever since that that first half an hour something about it was just off and now it's cool so next up i'm going to go over here this by this ferris wheel i think apparently there's a fair going on and that, there's a lot of foot traffic so i've seen a fair few buskers though but uh i'm just going to take it in for a minute enjoy the view there's so many people around all of a sudden but yeah on to spot two After wondering where I would go next, I eventually settled again on the upper promenade. This time I headed west and perched myself just outside the lifeboat museum. There was an emergency services fair going on over on the western lawns which meant the foot traffic was really good. And this time got off to a much, much better start. It was at this point that I started to confirm that maybe Eastbourne does understand busking. And maybe they do like a few Green Day covers. One thing I did notice whilst busking in Eastbourne is I didn't get a lot of tips on the card reader. It was all predominantly cash. Spot two was awesome. The vibes were good throughout. Spot two, huge success. I don't know how much that is yet, but I'll count it and I'll let you know. Look at this view. Incredible. Eastbourne, you've stepped your game up. Thank you so much. Sorry for the absolutely terrible shot here, but the wind is going into the microphone, as you probably heard earlier in the video. Spot number two was a huge success. Eastbourne stepped it up. I'm so grateful. I think earlier on the first bus, the reason it didn't pick up, one, I think it was just really quite early still. It was about 11 o'clock and I don't think that the town had warmed up. I also think my energy was just a bit flat. When I spoke to the camera, you might hear it in, in that first intro sequence. I was a bit like, I don't know, I just wasn't in the groove. One thing I really appreciate about these seaside towns is they always have toilets and they always have water points, which just helps out so much. I always try and bring a lunch too, so I don't have to spend money on the lunch. Just saving just means maximum profit. I'm going to do another set in the town if I can find a spot. There's been a lot of buskers here, a lot more than in Hastings. I've encountered at least three or four uh, since I saw the first two this morning. So yeah, I'm going to try and go to the town, see how that goes. But yeah, the second spot we did £33 in the end. Uh, £33 something. 33 pound 19 which for like an hour and a bit was so good so we're, we're into the 50s now Woo! it's a bit windy i'll talk to you later when it's not windy and um see you in spot three do you have a time to listen to me one spot three now I couldn't go all the way to Eastbourne without trying out the busking in the town centre. I set up in a spot where I'd seen another busker earlier that day, outside this giant prehistoric rock. In fact, if you check out this spot on Google Maps, there's actually a busker there on Street View. Eastbourne clearly has a thriving busking scene. During my time at this spot, I encountered a few characters. Firstly, a fellow busker named Jacob Cameron. He was really friendly and even took a video of me. We spoke about how valuable it is when passers-by take videos of you as you're busking and then tag you online so you can kind of share it or reshare it on social media. If you ever pass a busker and you don't have a tip or a donation to give them, then filming them and tagging them on social media can feel just as valuable. Take it from a busker. Shout out to Jacob, here's his Instagram. Go check him out. The next character I met was a guy called Greg. Greg had this wild backstory. 
And as I was setting down, he was telling me all this story and I was absolutely fascinated. I've met so many interesting and inspiring people throughout my busking career so far. I absolutely love it. Playing like a, before, like we you music No, I started when I was 18, yeah. During my third busk, someone actually bought me some McDonald's. They laid down like a cheeseburger and some Coca-Cola, I think. I wasn't hungry and I don't eat meat, so I gave it to Greg. And he seemed very grateful. And then my guitar battery died, so I just decided to call it a day. But all in all, a huge success. Thank you, thank you, Eastbourne. I didn't think Eastbourne knew what busking was. Turns out, they definitely do. Welcome aboard this service to... So we did. Spot number three, £24.50. <laughs> So today's total is 2182 plus 3519 plus 2450. Heck yeah, Eastbourne. There you go. All in all, a huge success. Eastbourne definitely knows what busking is and they do appreciate a Green Day cover here and there. My total for the day came in at 82 pounds 35 pence. And honestly, had my guitar battery not run out, I could have easily done a fourth set and topped it up to 100. I highly recommend Eastbourne as a place to busk. Go and check it out. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a like. If you haven't already, check out my busking videos from when I went to Hastings and London. Check out my Brighton-based busking videos. Maybe consider subscribing. Maybe hit that notifications bell. I make weekly videos. They come out every Monday. And I will see you next week. Peace, love, happiness.